Welcome back guys, Pink Reaper here again with Azanai's White Dragon, who will probably continue to say nothing throughout the entirety of this playthrough. Back with Mega Man X. Uh, if you were here for part one, we just beat the uh, intro stage, Chill Penguin and uh, Flame Mammoth, completely out of order. Um, I didn't mention this before, but Chill Penguin's weakness is Flame Mammoth's weapon. Uh, and as you just saw in the last video, it's very easy to beat Flame Mammoth without his weakness, so if you want to go Mammoth Penguin, I guess you could. It's a terrible idea, though. Don't do it. You need the boots. Um, next up, I think I'm actually gonna go... Spark Mammoth. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll go Spark Mandrel. Because his theme is so good. His theme is so good. Well, every theme is so good in this game. Like, just this theme is awesome. Granted, that's back from the original Mega Man, but... So the gimmick in Spark Mandrel stage is uh, a little bit too full here. We've got these glass tubes that I'm standing on, as you can see here. And uh, right here, they shoot out lightning. And you can be damaged by that, so you don't want to get hit by that. Go ahead. Kill that guy. Ah, got hit. Get at me. And then there's also this part, where it becomes dark, and there's these guys. Ah, I didn't dash there. But, uh... Those guys are pretty easy. They take one hit to kill. So as long as you know where they're coming from, like I do, they're uh, not much of a bother. Now, this is one of the few stages in the game that actually has a mid-boss. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch my weapon over here. This is, uh... This is the Jelly Man. But, uh... I actually don't know what his name is, so I'm just gonna hit it with fire. <gasps> If you have, this is kind of the reason I got the flame, the, uh, or I, I went and fought Flame Mammoth early. Just because it makes it very much easier to, uh, beat him when you have that. And we have this fun part. Yep. These guys who don't die to one full charge shot, you're gonna need more than that. And then not just that, you got these. They're firing bullets in every direction. Just gonna let myself get hit. I got the E tanks, I really need help. Oh, he chased me! He came back from the dead. They can fall down, as you'll see there. Ah! Oh, didn't dodge it. Now, just like I was saying earlier, stages that can change, this stage can also change if we beat another level. Uh, I'll be showing that later. Get a little bit more health here. You can only make that jump with the boots, by the way. You cannot make that jump without it. You gotta do a dash jump off the wall. Uh, go away. I hate these guys, because you can't kill them fast. Ah. Getting messed up by these. We got some turtles here. Go ahead and kill them. Those, uh, those missiles will fire wherever you are. They'll fire two at a time. Not that hard to dodge. Not that hard to kill. And here we are back in darkness. Ah. Got a slow down. I tried shooting, it didn't work. Die. So here we are at the boss. I'm go ahead and switch to his weakness right now. Got that shotgun ice. Now you're about to see probably the least interesting battle in the entire game. So, well, that's not true. There's one that's even more pathetic than this, but this is kind of sad. Spark Mandrel is actually a really tough boss if you don't have his weakness. He can do a lot of mean stuff. I'm just not going to let him, because Shotgun Ice freezes him. Uh, what you trying to do? This actually isn't the fastest way to kill him. You can actually shoot him faster, but then he won't freeze. Not even going to bother talking about his attacks, because you're not going to see them. And he's dead. I didn't even move. That's, uh, that's Spark Mandrel for you. Poor guy. Very allergic to ice. He's, uh, he doesn't do well with the cold, you know. He moved, he moved here from the, from Florida, you know, doesn't really get cold there, he doesn't know what it's like, and then suddenly you got this, this asshole robot just shooting him with ice. Like, how would you react? But, uh, for that we get the E-Spark here, which is, uh, which is a fun little weapon. Because it means I get to do this level, my favorite level in the game. 
Armored Armadillo. I really like this level. It's really fun, and it's got an awesome theme song. Oh yeah. Suck it in, mofos. I totally stole that from Rainbow Plus. Don't sue me, Rainbow Plus. Oh, I overshot it. Hit thing. Bats. Oh well, one up. Uh, the thing about the bats, I should mention, they have a very high drop rate for, for like, items. So if you need lives or something, this is a great stage to go to. There's plenty of bats. Uh, those guys are instant kills if they touch you with their with their little spiked roller thing there. But uh, behind him, he had a knee tank. How nice is that? He was keeping it safe for us. Over here, we've got some uh, some energy that I can't get to because didn't go to I didn't go to Storm Eagle, Storm Eagle stage like I meant to. Bats! So many bats and met guards. Whatever. I got extra health I don't even need. Not even gonna bother shooting stuff, I'm just gonna run. Uh that's a tough jump to make. Uh, uh. Uh, one thing to note, if uh, you get a big like say a big thing of health when you only need like one one sliver of it. You will not get extra into your uh, E-Tank. Overflow does not happen. But, uh, got another one of these guys over here. Kill him real quick. Because if he gets too far, you can't get this. Another heart piece. Wonderful. If I collect four of those, I get a new piece of heart. Uh, you want to shoot some bullets right there or else some bats will end up hitting you. Uh, this part is very interesting. Because the uh, oops, the minecarts keep your momentum, so if you don't jump soon enough here, like if you hit the minecart hits the wall, and sends you that way, you will have all the momentum going that way. And uh, no matter how hard you jump, you will not go this way. And that is a very big bottomless pit there. That is death. But uh, here we have one of the more difficult bosses in the game, uh, Armored Armadillo. Now, just like his name would imply, he is an armadillo. But also, he has armor. And that armor can reflect shots. <laughs> like that. Oops, I hit. Oh, I got hit again. I'm gonna lose. But, uh, we have his weakness. And his weakness gets rid of his armor. Now you can hit him at any time. And he gets kind of stuck in this loop here. And he's dead. He's actually, he's probably the most difficult boss to try and fight without his weakness. Because while he's attacking, he's basically completely invincible while he has his armor on. I don't know, Boomer Cranger. Boomer Cranger's really annoying, but there's a there's a pretty good way you can do it. Um, I'm just not very good at it, so I'm not going to bother showing you. But after that, we get the rolling shield here. It's a fairly lackluster weapon. Shoots a shield, it rolls. Um, exactly what it says on the tin. Doesn't do too much damage, though. Not the best weapon. But anyway, um... Launch Octopus is weak to Yeah, but I want to go to, uh, Storm Eagle stage first to get something I miss. Well, nothing I miss, I mean. Yeah, I just really want the helmet. I kind of want to get all the armor as early as possible so I don't have to do too much backtracking. This is everyone's favorite theme except for mine. I actually don't consider this the best theme in the game. I got the platforms here, platform peril. Go all the way up here and then dash jump! Leap of faith! Got another heart piece. I think that makes five? I only need three more, right? Three more for three more for another heart. We got this. I'm sitting chill thing. Oh, that's right, I didn't get chill penguins, but that's because I couldn't when I first got it. I think I'll show this off too on here. See over here? Oh! It's died. Oh, I forgot you turned around. But uh, you see over here, you've got these... Da! Danger, these are flammable. Uh, you just have to shoot them enough, and they'll, just, they'll be destroyed. The fastest way is obviously that. And there's items behind them. Uh, these are kind of throughout the game. Or not throughout the game, throughout the level, I mean. Um... Right here, there's a few of them going up. 
thought I'd show it off if you want to see it. There's a there's one that has an extra life in it later in the game. I'm not gonna, or later in the level. I'm not gonna bother getting. Go ahead and kill that, and we'll just stand here for a second. Platform raises. Shoot out the glass here. Got an enemy, and then oh, for no reason it blows up all the glass, and you can knee tank. Uh, huh. Be careful jumping there, because uh, everything after this part, part is, you know, void. Uh, 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 try and chop the rolling shield here. It's, uh, it's not bad. I mean, two shots real quick will kill these guys over here, obviously, but... Uh, uh. Huh. Can be useful. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Just kind of unwieldy to use. Oh, screw it. Yeah, you can make that jump. So over here, the entire reason I came to this stage. Where is it? There it is. We've got another armor piece. This is somewhat the least useful armor piece in the game. Uh, it's only really meaningful for one specific spot. Well, two, I guess. It helps you get another piece of armor, and it kind of makes a later level in the game slightly easier. Other than that, no real purpose to this. So you can break certain blocks with your head now, just like you can do with your legs. Oh, I should have mentioned that. When I got the E-Tank in Flame Mammoth stage, you can only break those blocks that were on the wall with the uh, leg pieces. So you cannot, you cannot do that if you don't have the leg pieces. Not that I think you can actually get to it without them, but... I'm a staring match and he's winning. Uh-huh. Let's go over here. Oh god, rockets! What kind of airport is this? By the way, this is an airport, for those who didn't know. A little secret over here, you can uh, drop down, get some health and some energy. This is the only boss in the entire game where you don't actually have to go to the boss door in order to fight him, and where you don't fight him in a little closed, confined space. Now, I don't have his weakness, so, just like before. What's his weakness? His we weakness is Stink Chameleon's uh, weapon. Chameleon Stink. Uh, uh, so he's got some mostly wind-based attacks. Nope. I'm still so used to my, my screen on my TV where I don't get sound from one side. So like, if he comes from the left, I know he's not com he's coming from there because I can't hear any sound. Yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, but uh, this is his main form of attack, really, his dive bomb. Uh, as you saw earlier, his, uh, his wings, when he was flapping them to push me away, don't actually do any damage. This is the other thing you can do. Spit out an egg that'll turn into little birds as we're trying to attack you. But as you can see, like you can just walk forward and you won't really get in any trouble here. I kinda wanna let him show off his other attack. His other I can't hurt you with this attack. Whatever, just let him hit me until he gets he does it. Maybe it's a she. I mean it it spits out to, There it is. See, that's his weapon right there, the tornado. But just like his wing attack, it does no actual damage, so... Not very impressive. I wasn't even trying very hard in that match. That's how unimpressive he is. Also, it appears we're falling. I just noticed that. We're, uh, we're falling at an alarming rate. You should totally run away, Mega Man. But, uh... For that... We get the Storm Tornado. Uh, that is Flame Mammoth's weakness, but I already killed Flame Mammoth, because why not? Do I got time for one more level? Uh, we'll have to cut to part three. Yeah, looks like uh, we're going to be going into part three, guys. Uh, for the next stage, I'll be going to uh, launch Octopus like I was supposed to. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been Pink Reaper and As an Eyes White Dragon playing Mega Man X.